Hi guys, T Belly here. I've been uh, asked by Ty on the Giants forum uh, if it's possible to do side by side harvesting on uh, a field uh, using the offsets. It is possible. Um, if you go to Coreplay, Cosplay uh, website, it does have uh, an explanation on how to do it. It's not in the manual though, it's actually in the frequently asked questions. Uh, and we want to use this one how to use the offset aka how do I let multiple vehicles drive a field work course uh, so what we'll do is we just go down here I'll put a link to this anyway but uh, it's just at the cosplay site so the group is lane offset uh, some important things you need to know each vehicle uses the same tool with the same working width uh, so that means if you've got three cultivators make sure that the frame see the same three cultivators with the same three uh, tractors it's always best same with the sewing machines just keep the machines working the same so that you know that they're going to pull the same that they're going to drive the same and you're going to have the same speeds basically and you're going to have the same working width uh, so yeah I mean like I say you can use this for uh, combines sewing machines cultivators uh, and you can however many machines you want the theory should still work uh, don't start all vehicles at, at once. Uh, if you do so, they'll get stuck with one another. Yep. So, best way to do it is just set one off, give it a few seconds, 10 seconds, set the next one off. Same, set the next one off, you know, as up to how many machines you're doing. Uh, if the tools work with is not an integer, which is an integer is just a, a whole number, not a, like 0.3 or 0.4. Uh, just round it down that's what I do so like the combine if you've got combine it's 5.3 uh, just round it down to 5 uh, it makes it easy for when you're doing the calculations later on anyway and uh, it overlaps slightly so it's going to cover more of your field you're not going to get any misses or anything uh, another important one is always use the uh, same generated course so what you would do is you would create one course and uh, you would use that course for each of your machines, be it combines or your sewing machines or your cultivators, uh, so everything's the same. Only thing you would change in it would be your offset, and and if it's uh, a regular or a symmetric lane change, which I'll show you in a video afterwards anyway. And uh, so this is the uh, symmetric and uh, regular. This is regular. This is symmetric. So this is like this is two two machines, and that that looks like that's your, your main course that you've created, and you've put a left uh, an offset there to the left, I mean to the right, and an offset there to the left, uh, same there on this one, and this is this is just how it runs. Oh well, that did a shortcut and went straight across there, but that should have gone around there as well. So yeah, as you can see, it just goes like that, and then that one will go there. It just goes, you know what I mean? These are like two separate ones. So, an important thing to know when you're doing this is, this is how I, how I do it anyway. Is do this one first, do the inner field one first. So, set this one off first, and then this, set this one off. Because if you don't do that, what will happen is if you set this one off first, uh, and then set this one off. So. You've got up to there, and this one's probably about there, and then it's gone round there, and it's coming on the way back. It's going to collide. It's going to clip it there, right there, the header or the wheels of the tractor, whatever, because it's going to be that close. You're going to end up catching, and they'll just stop because they've got a, a bigger area than what they actually look. So just bear that in mind. Uh, just say, for instance, if that was three uh, combines, what I would do is I would set that one off first, then I'd set that one off, then I'd set that one off because once that comes up here, because it's the first one, it's going to move there and it's going to be well out of the way and I use symmetric lane change. Uh, just make sure whichever one you do, regular or symmetric, that they are, that the ones that you're changing are symmetric or regular. Do not mix them up because it'll just make a mess of your field. Uh, these need to be symmetric the ones that are offset, the one in the middle doesn't, you can just leave that as normal because that's just going to follow the, the course anyway. Um, but yeah, that's that principle, that should be
pretty straightforward. Have a play, see which one you prefer. Uh, I like I say I prefer the symmetric lane change. I just think it looks nicer. Uh, so a look. So lane off offset calculation. It's got a formula here for calculating it. Calculating it. Uh, and basically what it is uh, is the number of vehicles. Uh, so if you've got three vehicles, say three combines, and the six meters apart, uh, what you would do is you would on your course you would create one course and the width instead of it being the working width of six meters, if you're using three, it'd be eighteen meters. Uh, so let's just try that theory. Let's look. So six meters, and that's how it would be. Look, your working width would be eighteen, which would be setting your initial course. And what you would do then is uh, your first tractor lights like, or combine or whatever it is you would set off first, I'd set this one off first and it'd be like offset 6 meters on the right I'll show you in the video anyway and uh, that'd be set off first and I'd obviously try to make sure it's symmetric sometimes I forget I'm only human <laughs> but make sure before it's turned around the corner that you change it to symmetric you know what I mean, once it's turned don't turn the symmetric on because it'll just throw it right out of whack it'll go symmetric the opposite direction and it'll just <laughs> be really crazy uh, so yeah just if you do forget if it hasn't turned the first c corner if it's still going on the first straight you can still turn the, uh, the symmetric on uh, so don't panic about that uh, but just make sure you do make sure you do it for that one as well these the outside two need to be done the one that's following straight down the center if it's got uh, a zero offset it doesn't need the symmetric changing because it is just following the path anyway uh, but anyone that's got an offset on needs to be changed or left to symmetric or uh, standard. Uh, so, like you see there, so if another uh, important thing to note is if you've got an odd number of uh, machines running, so if you've got three, say there, you're always your middle one's always going to have a zero offset. Now, if you've got uh, an, an even number, it's not going to be off, everything's going to have an offset because it's just going to be a little bit over, you see what I mean, three metres, three metres, it's going to half it just to cover all the ground uh, and in which case they would all need to be set to symmetric so I hope that explains that uh, like I say this is really a handy little uh, tool and this is part of the cosplay uh, site as well on the fact at the bottom so like I say I'll put a link to that at the bottom and uh, let's jump in uh, some machines and see if we can get this working back in a minute guys hi guys uh, here we are on Ontario Canada version 2 map uh, this is a nice big map with big fields so ideal for what we're going to use it for so we've got three combines and we're going to harvest field 10 so what we're going to do is jump in the first combine and we'll create everything off of this path anyway that we're going to create so we need to change it to field work then we'll go on to course and then we want the field edge of field 10 which is the field that we're working and we're going to start in the southeast corner which is right and the starting direction is going to be west and the working width so if we click there to calculate the working width it says 5.3 meters so what we need to do is we need to ride that round that down or up if you round it up you're going to have like patchy bits you're going to miss bits so i'm going to round it down to five meters uh you'll get a slight overlap but you're not going to get much missing much missing at all uh, so that would be ideal for one uh, combine but because we're using three combines we have to multiply that number by three same if you're using four you multiply it by four so you'd have 20 meters two it'd be 10 meters so we're going to go 15 meters there we go uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click oh yeah they're on show all so once we create the course uh, like that it shows the course that we've created look uh, I have done this before just to test it out uh, so like you say what we do there is we will s just go on lane offset and because this uh, combine is going to be to the right so we need to do it five meters to the right like that just got to make sure it's a lane offset I say, and what we'll do is we'll just save that course and we'll just save it uh, field 10. 
PL10 tutorial. There we go. So what we'll do now is that's setting that one. So I'm just going to jump in the other one. And it's a lot easier this way. Make sure it's on the same uh, field work field type. So there we go. And we'll load the course in, which is this one. What we'll do is we'll just check to make sure. Yep, lane offsets zero because it doesn't need to be zero. And we need to set this to 15. But well, we don't need to set that to 15 because we've already loaded the car in. But if you're going to do it, that's why it'll be 15. Uh, so yeah, that's fine. Everything's okay on that one because the coast is already in. So we need to do, and on this one, I say the only things we need to set up is the uh, field type and the lane offset. And on this one, because we're going to the left of it, so it needs to be five meters to the left. And that should be that one, okay. Oh, so we'll load it in first. That'd be handy, wouldn't it? So five meters to the left on that one. So what I'm gonna do is I always go at the first waypoint Always best to do it at the first waypoint. I find, especially when you just start in the field. So they're all the same. So we're going to start this one off. Well, what I'll do is I'll just I like to just open it up and get it running. Purely and simply because it'll just rush to it and it'll miss the first little bit. So I just get going like that and then just drive course. And jump in the second combine. Same thing. Open it up. Press B. And drive course. Oh, there is one thing I forgot to do. There is one thing I forgot to do. Um, so look. We need to change that to activate it to the symmetric. So X and B. What I'll do is just jump to this one. Let's say on there, just change it to activated. And that'll make all the difference. It's a really important thing that I nearly forgot there because otherwise it wouldn't have followed the route, it would have come back on itself and uh, done the short route. So that should be fine. Everything should be okay on that one, so we'll just keep an eye on them for a minute, make sure everything's running. So yeah, key things to remember are uh, your working widths. Obviously it's got to be a multiple of how many uh, machines you're going to be using and the offset's got to be right. Always start on the inner machine first, as I did, that one first, then that one, then that one to the edge. And I would say, make sure symmetric lane change is activated. I just find it better that one. If you don't do it that way, it'll work weird, especially if you do one that is symmetric and you forget to do one, you'll notice it because it'll look strange. So as you can see, they're all following the same path. But it's, it's entirely up to you if you want to use symmetric or non-symmetric. I like symmetric because they'll all follow the same path. It's it's nicer. I think it's nicer anyway. Personal preference. So there we go. Everything seems to be working nicely.
which is what we're after. There's a nice good bit of room between them as you can see. It's just good for like when they turn the corners at the end and they're not bumping into each other and waiting and stuff so it's just ideal. Well guys like I said I hope that's helped and I hope that explains it somewhat without being any more confusing than what it is. Uh, like I say just make sure your field's right, you're working with a multiple of one of the widths you know by how many uh, machines you're using. Let's say if you're going to use four combines that would be 20 metres and uh, obviously get your corner and your direction right and let's say in your driver settings just make sure your offsets are right in the right place and symmetric lane change if you want that function and uh, it should work okay. So there you have it guys, it looks like it's running fine to me and uh, if you have any questions at all by all means leave them below, if you have any problems with it by all means contact Corsplay directly, <laughs> you know, if I can help I'll help, uh, I'll try my best anyway, but uh, thanks for watching the video and uh, I'll see you in the next one, see you later guys.